straight facts, bro. No, it's, not. it's straight facts, bro. Columbus was 16 something. It's whole. It, what are you talking about? It's a whole different civilization way before that. Before, be, even before, even before that time. Like, like I said, the ancient Egyptians. Hey, Google. Let's, let's Google, deal with the Egyptians. Hold on, hold on. Give me. Oh, you talk- 
Right. Fuck y'all. We out here teaching the scriptures, bro. Oh, we out here teaching shit. the Bible. Oh, huh? uh, yeah, we, we, ain't, we ain't nothing. We ain't nothing. Okay, all right, all right. Check this out. You still dealing with the Egyptians? Let me show you where the Egyptians got their understanding from. Psalms 105, verse 17. Check this out, Leah. Check this out. The book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 17. It was some crazy woman that came up to Christ, and he ain't paid no mind. We, uh, and I'm, I'm a follower of Christ. Keep reading. He sent a man. Yo, if somebody's disrupting the word of God, the word of God, the, the Bible says, the Bible says that she need to be quiet. We disrespecting the, the woman? The woman's not disrespecting the Bible? She not disrespecting? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. we're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with that. We still dealing with Egypt, man. Read. He sent a man before them. Leon, you distracted? You, you distracted? Put that right there. Put it right here. We're going to watch it. You don't got time? Satan just came and took the seed from the brother, man. Satan just came and took the seed from a brother. As soon as the seed, huh? Are we about to support? We supporting. This is the best support that we can give you right here. We, this is the best support that we can do. It say, my honor, man, bro. Check this out. Psalms 105, verse 17. Read. He sent a man before them. Matter of fact, give me, man, give me 1 Corinthians 14, man. Bring it out. Give me 1 Corinthians 14, man. You over here scattering the flock. What you, what you cursing about? What you mad about? I'm cursing about you talking to my motherfucking son like you Who's your son? Who's your son? My son is at the fucking house, man, where he's supposed to fucking be. And y'all need to mad y'all business talking to these goddamn kids. What we say to your son? And it, whatever it was that upset him, We man, told your son that Jesus Christ is a black man. My son right. knows what the fuck is going on with we Jesus told Christ. Your we son, your motherfucking ass we told your shit. son that he's an Israelite fuck according you. to the Bible. You did not tell him we that. We told your son no. that he's the greatest thing that's walking no, this God's right. world. Right. 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 Huh? Because he walked out here with a white girl, you teach a prejudice and shit? No, no the, the Bible, that. the Bible the tells. The Bible does not say nothing about being prejudiced. You sure? To these kids. You sure? So what you think you all motherfucking oh, mighty You sure? Out here? Give me, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3 again. Oh, yeah. Give me Deuteronomy. You. Whatever you saying, you saying to the most high God. I say any motherfucking thing again. Hey man, the Lord gonna judge you. The oh, Lord gonna judge you for judge these words. Right Check this out. Judge this is what the Lord got to say. Sam. You gotta give account for every I, idle I, word, I my sister. This is what the Lord say about the black man dealing with the white woman. We will say it to him to his face. We'll say it to her. We'll say it to you. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. The Bible tell the so-called black man that you you can't deal with the white woman. The Bible tell you that you can't be you can't be a butch, you can't be a bull dagger, you can't be a carpet monster. You can't be none of that. You can't be a homosexual. We coming out here, we gonna deal with the scriptures. Whether you like it or not, keep reading. Uh -huh. Thy you daughter, gotta repent, sister. Thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. Don't walk off when the scriptures come out. Give me Tobit 4 and 12. Give me Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. All of y'all got to repent. Y'all two got to repent. You got to repent. Or that whole group over there got to repent. Or you're going to die when Christ comes. Right. Those are two options. You repent or you die. Right. Which, one, which one you want? Which one you want? Take the skyboard off, get you a husband, put a dress on, and then you get the kingdom of heaven. That's how that works. That's how that works. You got to repent. Yeah, you got to repent too. You ain't you ain't no man, sister. You a woman. I don't know what man pissed you off when you was raised, but you got to repent from the ways of your sins right here. Give me Tobit 4 and 12. Read. The book of Tobit, chapter 4 and verse 12. All y'all sisters got to repent. Read. Beware of uh, all whoredom. The Bible says beware of all whoredom. So guess what? The Bible going to tell you what whoredom is. All y'all women could be mad. And I got a verse for every last one of y'all. Read. My son, uh -huh. and chiefly, take a wife. The Bible tells an Israelite man, the so-called black man, to take a wife of who? Of the seed of thy father. The Bible tells a black man to take a wife of the seed of your fathers. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. 
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>